People say, Dave, 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 you always criticize people. You never say anything nice. I say lots of nice things. I have to say a very nice thing today about the carpet bagger. This was a fantastic video. I mean, it is brilliant. Uh, Eric Erickson's House of Masks, this guy down in Florida, uh, he has this, like, literally, it's just, a, it is a private fun house. It is amazing. I mean, this guy is, it's one of those special people, you, you know, we only come across once in a blue moon, and Carpet Baker did a magnificent job with this. I mean, it is just, I watched this several times. It is stunningly good. And this guy, and this guy's imagination and his house and even the bathroom in it is, is just crazy. I mean, it is, it is brilliant. And the laundry room, he's got it like, you know, camouflaged. Yeah, here's the bathroom. There's the bathroom. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. That's insane. Anyway, I, Carpet Beggar looks a little bit uh, kind of almost o uh, overtaken with all this craziness, but it is a brilliant... This is what I like. This is the kind of stuff, you know, every now and then you see Carpet Beggar do something where, you know, he's not just paying an admission ticket and walking through some place where we, you know, anybody could go. This is really cool. I really like this. Uh, he really uh, did a great job on it. I highly recommend it. There he is. Uh, yeah. The other thing I'd like to say with Mr. Carpetbagger is when he does his live chats, which he did one yesterday, come on, shave, all right? He looked really grungy <laughs> yesterday. You know, go take five minutes and, and do a quick shave. I don't know. I don't know. You want, when you do a live chat, you want to look kind of at least somewhat clean cut. You know, just just saying. Anyway, check it out. Good video from uh, Jacob uh, Eric Erickson's House of Masks. Yes, this was great. So uh, getting back to the nomads here, we got Camper Van Kevin. He's at uh, Zion. He got there. I get. I guess I don't. You know, Eric Nomadic Fanatic was at Zion too. I don't know with all the time shifting here whether they were actually there together. They might have been together there at Zion, and they just he's just not showing it. But uh, I don't know. Do we see uh, the uh, the uh, the the uh, nomadic? What is it? T T Tilly the Tioga. I don't know what its name is, but anyway. Uh, anyway, so anyway, he's either there just after Eric or they were there together, but not publicizing it. I don't know. But anyway, we got the cute little doggies. Uh, this was really cute. I love the dogs. I love the dogs. I love Tucker. And this was wonderful. This was absolutely wonderful video if it will ever stop buffering. Wow. Wow. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. There it is. There, there he is. Tucker the dog. Prancing in the water. That's cool. Never get Pitbull Tank to do that. He hates the water. The other two dogs don't seem to like the water much, but uh, that's that's the highlight of this video. I love those dogs. I love those dogs. Casey Neistat and his motorized pogo stick. Okay, uh, what do I say? It's a, I guess it's a reason why I'm not subscribed to Casey anymore. I don't know. I guess the guy just kind of drove me crazy, but anyway. Anyway, yeah, he gets a lot of swag. How much swag does Casey get? I don't know. He probably gets one, every day the a UPS guy. One, yeah, just to delivers like literally uh, truckloads of swag to Casey, and I don't know. There's there's Candace. Uh, there she is. Is that her? There she is. There she is. Next to somebody wearing a Casey Neistat sweatshirt. Did you say I? I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, check it out. Yeah. Spend their time. Okay. I don't know. Uh, too much. I've been, I, 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 you know, I watch Casey now and then, but uh, am I subscribed? I am not one of the 9.4 million people who subscribed. Is that down a little bit? I thought he was over 10. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I've never been wrong before. I was watching this. I, I was watching uh, RV Fat Cat the other day, and I guess her stuff's coming up. Being forced to eat everything in the freezer, including my foot. Is that? Hello, to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so oh, her food details. Okay, me. my eyes are going. It looked like it said I was forced to eat everything in the freezer, including my foot. Anyway, I, I'm enjoying her stuff. You know, I, I watch her now and then, and uh, uh, she has some interesting stuff. She goes into the technicalities of, of the finances of, you know, her life and what she can oh. afford and, and living on the road and what stuff like that and all that. 
Now here's the interesting thing about Social Blade that I have noticed is that when you start pulling your videos, your Social Blade stats go wacky. Her average daily view is minus 21,232. Now the only way you can get into a negative daily view, how do you get negative numbers in your daily view average? You can't unwatch a video, can you? I don't know. The only way you get that way is if you pull some of your videos. So say you have videos that were 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 views, and then you pull a bunch of videos. For some reason, Social Blade will now show you as a negative daily view average. So um, uh, I don't know. So she's pulled a lot of videos, but the RV Fat Cat. Uh, I don't know. It seems a little early, but the uh, the, the, the big-time bottom-o guy, Aaron, is already getting ready for the... Uh, the crin the cr I was gonna say the cringy awards, the bottom of YouTube awards. They are kind of cringy, but uh, I don't know. He says he wants uh, people to suggest some new categories, and mine is best best bottom of YouTube puppet, and of course Crotchy is a shoe in. He's a shoe in. Yeah, you either love or hate Crotchy. I gotten so many emails. Some people just love Crotchy. Other people hate him. There is nothing in between. I hate Crotchy. You should never put him in your videos. I see people tell me, and then other people say, "No, we love that cute puppy. He's so adorable." The new Dan Bell. New Dan Bell. That's something interesting. Uh, feature documentary: The Mysterious Everglades, abandoned places, lonely back roads. All around the Everglades, rotting boats. Uh. <laughs> anyway, uh. So I got to thinking, well, if they're active, crazy critters, uh, scary critters, dark, but I'll tell you one thing, wandering around now. Turn down the opportunity. That looks like he. That looks like it was done in the day with like a filter on it. Anyway, I don't know. But anyway, this is an interesting video. Uh, uh, okay, 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 yeah, uh, uh, okay, okay, I gotta be honest, oh, and really cute, uh, anyway, I, I gotta be honest, I gotta be honest, uh, it's 50 minutes, uh, it just uploaded a few minutes ago, and I haven't watched it, okay, I'm done, but, anyway, it, from skimming through it, it looks pretty interesting, and I'm going to watch the entire thing later today, and perhaps tomorrow I will give you a full and honest critique of it, okay, just saying. Always enjoy this Today I Found Out channel. Uh, Simon Whistler is one of my favorite YouTubers. This was scary, though. For reasons we notice accents disappearing in song and why those... Why British uh, singers lose their accents when singing is cool. But look, where's his beard? Oh, my goodness. He looks like a little baby. <laughs> I just want to say that it is sponsored by Cheddar. Now you might know. Okay, anyway. Simon needs the glass. The glasses give him intelligence, and the beard gives him wisdom, you know? So, uh, you know, he needs he needs to, uh, and, and that's a good look, too, don't you think? Soon popped up in the 1970s. Generally, the hat is cool, too, but uh, definitely the beard works for, for Simon. Check out The Secret Life of Vivian. She's the chick that likes to review a lot of as seen on TV stuff. Anyway, yeah, this is this is a new one. This is from yesterday. She flies to California. And she, where does she go? She goes to the YouTube headquarters. She was invited to their corporate offices. To have a chip implanted in her brain. No, 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 no. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, Casey Neistat did that, I think. They have a big slide there and, you know, and all that. So that's cool. But anyway, she uh, got to go to the YouTube headquarters and check out the place. And, you know, they love her channel. They want to, I guess, uh, she's brought in. She's probably one of the friendly, uh, the friendlies. How many subs does she have? 56K. Wow. Anyway, she's a friendly, they like her, she makes good content that doesn't have to get uh, demonetized. Check her out. The Secret Life of Vivian, she does a lot of uh, as-seen-on-TV reviews. Do the products really match up to what you see in the ads? You know, and the, probably not in most cases. <laughs> and it also goes to the dollar store and some cool stuff like that. So check her out. Vivian... Vivian Vivian. Ladders, 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 ladders. Yes, uh, Adam the Woo. Adam, Adam West. Adam West, Adam Williams. 
They're kind of merging, aren't they? Anyway, how are you, everybody? We've got letters, 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 letters. <laughs> Jimmy, Chris, Klersky the Creeper, Hobo Jimmy is mad because Crotchy stiffed him on his cab ride. Somebody told me that um, that Uber is not thrilled when people start do like live entertainment on YouTube while they're doing while they are doing um, Uber rides. I you know I don't know. Uh, and also, also, I'm not gonna. I I I I saw Jimmy the Hobo, and you know he dropped these two ladies off. And then they're, they're, then he looks at the camera and he makes a derogatory comment about them. At least it sounded like that. And I thought, that's not right. Is, does, is Uber okay with that? I don't know. I don't know. Ron Buckley was not too thrilled that uh, Steaming Bean's little reference to Trump. Steaming Bean and his buddy, they were trying out some White Castle burgers, and they said the burgers were like Trump. They were kind of greasy. Uh, Ron Buckley said the Trump burger, greasy and rude, better still than the Trudeau burger, wimp and pee wimpy and pee whipped and spineless, and I could go on and on. <laughs> Big Time writes, my aunt served Pat Sajak in a diner in the 1970s, and he was very rude and stiffed her on the tip. Yeah, we were talking about Pat Sajak the other day because uh, uh, the Wheel of Fortune guy owns a radio station here in the D.C. area over in Annapolis, and he lives around here. And apparently he's not the uh, nicest person to meet in public, although he has such a wonderful, friendly reputation there on Wheel of Fortune, doesn't he? Bruce Bugger said the other day that I combed my beard. I never comb my beard. <laughs> the day it looked fuzzy because I had just taken a shower. I took a shower before I did the video. Usually I take a shower after I do the videos because I get kind of sweaty and greasy when I do these videos, you know, it's kind of like, ugh, I don't know who I'm hanging out with, no. Um, but I did take a shower before the video, and then my beard always gets real fuzzy after a video, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the germ, that's very funny, germ, glad I watched my own video. Yeah, I don't always watch them all the way through, you know. <laughs> Uh, Gardner de Aguilar, Gardner de Aguilar writes, uh, we were watching the Russian guys there, those Russian guys that were talking about how there is um, electricity in just plain old rail lines, not the electrified lines, just the plain old rail lines. Uh, he writes, there's a small amount of electricity in train tracks. It's part of the derail monitoring system. Uh, just to let you know if they, uh, let you know if they get the, the tracks get decoupled or get breaks or whatever. So anyway, um. Anyway, oh, another thing about Pat Sajak, Dancing Dan writes, my aunt was Pat Sajak's personal flight attendant for six years, flying out of the Manassas Airport. She now flies for Adele Al Jubilar, basically the uh, Saudi Arabia. Wow. Mark Fun Jones, Elvis makes me feel like I'm slacking on those uploads in one day. Yeah, Mark also does multiple uploads in one day. I mean, I've seen him do three, four, five in a day, but not like 38 that 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 uh, <laughs> that Elvis did the other day. That was wackadoodle. I don't know. Anyway, all right, folks, that should do it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to not wear any underwear. The crotchy stickers, don't forget, if you want a free crotchy sticker, my address is below. Send me a stamped, a stamped address, self-addressed envelope, okay? And as long as they're available, we'll send out the crotchy stickers, okay? There's, a, there's 30 or 40 in there, so... And I guess Time Chaser could make some more if we run out. I don't know, but I'm not e-begging him to do it. All right, folks. <laughs> or her. I don't know. It's time, time Chaser's a couple, right? I you know, I assume it's a guy and a girl, right? It's always they, you know, it's always we, we, we like you. No, anyway, all right, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to. I said that already. Damn it! Oh yeah, okay, crotch shot. There we go. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Vlog under. They're Moldorama trolls. Trolls. Wow. Why? Why do you have to be gap in your teeth? Wow. Your content is so cringy. Uh.